um, go with timber frame. Well, at the moment, as you can see, they're working on site. We're laying the radon membrane and putting in the subfloor and just getting it ready for the timber frame. They're the important layers, you see. There would be very critical now. It's very important yeah. that the pressure is sealed. is sealed everywhere, because otherwise it'll leak in in small places. Yeah, there's no point not. putting it down nope. if you're not going to do it properly. Absolutely. Parts of County Longford have a high risk of radon, so I'm meeting up with an expert to find out more about it. All the houses have to have a radon sump, which actually depressurizes the subfloor area and extracts the radon into the atmosphere to stop it getting into the house. If you're in a high radon area, you must use a radon membrane, which has to be appropriately certified and it's been tested with radon gas, which acts as a barrier to stop radon getting in. When you're laying a membrane like this on site, what do you need to do to protect it? Well, firstly, you must have an, a layer of sand blinding, which protects the radon membrane from being perforated from the hardcore beneath. You can also cushion it with an insulation layer if you wish. On top of that then, we'd normally have another insulation layer and then the concrete on top. With a membrane like this, which is reinforced, you can pour the cement directly on top of it as long as it's done carefully and slowly and you pay good attention to detail. So what if there's a hole in the membrane? Well, one hole, no matter how small in the membrane, is critical that it's sealed correctly because even just a small hole can lead to a build-up of pressure and radon getting into the building. So what they have to do is they have to repair that hole, usually with a small square of the membrane adhesively sealed to that, almost like a double layer, to make sure that uh, radon cannot get out that tear. So, Robin, how do you know that the radon-resisting membrane is certified? We ensure that all of the radon membranes that we certify have been tested with radon gas. There are other membranes on the market that have UK certification that haven't been tested with radon gas. Radon isn't an issue in the UK. Methane is the big problem there. Right, so, so it's, it's really an issue for Ireland. Exactly. And membranes that are certified over there may be called on the certificate radon membrane, but it's actually just acting and being tested as a damp-proof membrane. So people aren't getting what they think they're going to get when they buy the product. So you should look out for the IAB logo on the packaging, and as I say, first and foremost, get onto the Agamont board. You can contact us by phone or do a search on our website, nsai.ie, and you'll see if the product is certified.